Hi, this is Gil Robles, and I'm working in mischief today. I'm going to do a, a quick sketch of something that has troubled me. I've been trying to draw this uh, old man's head before. I, This is uh, me drawing him in another software that I had used. Uh, but I've tried drawing this, this guy before, and it just never, never really worked out uh, to my uh, satisfaction. So uh, when that happens... What I like to do is just take a moment and 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 uh, sketch it out in a very usually a very very uh, simple pencil drawing uh, or you know I'm, by simple I mean I'm just using uh, a tool that's basic and I'm not trying to do anything uh, I guess fancy with it uh, but I'm trying to concentrate on just uh, the structure how to draw it uh, just looking at the 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 well, over here, looking at the head and, and then um, trying to consider how I'm going to approach this in pen, but working out all the, uh, how I'm going to approach this in pencil, I'm sorry, but working out all the, um, all the problems of drawing ahead of time. And usually, this is what happens to me, either when I'm painting or drawing or, or some such thing, I, I, uh, I mess up. I mess up the first few times or, or however many times it takes. Uh, but usually after working at it for a while, you you get something that's closer to what you, you, you'd be satisfied with. Um, I, I And of course I'm talking drawing traditional media where you don't have the undo button. I think with digital you get so used to undo that you really don't solve your problems. You really don't. Uh, you're really not as deliberate in in your drawing as you should be. Uh, so, and this is one of the reasons why I don't rely on the undo. And I, I've I've used the, the undo a lot, um, but not as much as as uh, I see some other people do. And I'm not criticizing anybody else. But what I I am uh, saying is that. It, we become too reliant on that undo, on that start over, and um, not on just you know erasing and and solving the problem, uh, and and then you know because <clears throat> undo becomes too convenient, and or for for whatever reason erasing takes too much. It takes more work, and you don't want to erase as much. But there's a need to, and then you refocus, reconcentrate on what it is you're doing, and then you you're more deliberate in what you're doing. At least that's how it works for me. You know, I I uh, um, I like using Mischief for this. This uh, uh, Mischief is a very very simple software. Not a lot of bells and whistles in this one, like you would have in um, in in uh, Photoshop or or some other program, but uh, Mischief is just a very, very simple tool. Um, you know, that there's, there's, there's not a lot of brushes or anything like that. So I tend to use one that I'm more comfortable with. Or I pick up, I pick out one. I, I don't have these, like in the other programs, I might have uh, specific brushes memorized that are my go-to brushes. I'm not uh, on Mischief that often, so I, I'm not as comfortable with Mischief as that. But it's it's a, a software that's very easy to use, uh, very good to to to, um, to to start out with if you're not used to digital media, uh, because it's it's the, the, like I said, there's not a lot of bells and whistles. So I like using this program. Now, the the um, sketchbook used to be a lot like this, and I'm not complaining about sketchbook. It, it's grown. And they they filled it out with so much more. But initially, it was a very very simple program, and very easy to use. And it was my introduction really to digital software. I've I've used Photoshop before then, but I I uh, not not as not so much. I, I was still using more traditional. I'd rather use more traditional to be honest. But uh, space and time. Uh, especially for illustration work uh, digital uh, allows me to do things faster and uh, and I can just uh, 
you know, I don't have to worry about scanning the artwork in to send it off to a client or anything like that. I can just uh, just send send them the file. Anyway, so uh, that's why I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing this because uh, I messed up and I'm doing this so that I can work out the drawing. And you know what? Also, when you do it this way, you can you can uh, you don't have to stick to one program. You can take or I can take this drawing, open it up in Sketchbook, open it up in Photoshop, and then work the color there because the draw, I already did the drawing, so I don't have to worry about uh, I don't have to worry about the drawing. I have to I just have to be concerned about uh, the color. So mischief allows me the time to to to, to step back and, and just uh, like I said, use it that simple pencil line. And, and come up with a drawing that that works rather than uh, what I had before. Now I wasn't satisfied with uh, with the way the the painting was coming out. I don't know. I don't know whether it's because of uh, the software I was using. Um, I know some some software uh, um, is still a bit of a learning curve for me. Like Art Rage, I'm not used to Art Rage. Um, it's kind of nice that it has all those brushes that do all those different things that mimic uh, uh, oil paint and so forth. But um, something about it, though, it's just uh, I don't. I'm. I guess when you're used to working uh, um, traditional, there, there's a way that you expect for brushes or whatever you use to behave, and uh, digital media doesn't do that. Digital media mimics the look of the brush, but it does not mimic how the brush feels or responds in your hand. It's you're still just using a pen or a glass. So that's the drawback of uh, a digital. There, there's but with any medium, whether it's digital or whether it's um, traditional, there are going to be drawbacks. There are going to be things that you're going to have to get used to about uh, the medium. And one of the things is that I, I have. You know, coming again, coming from that background, you have uh, an expectation of how the 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 tools are going to behave in your hand. With digital, even though you get a different looking result, it's basically a pen on glass is what you're working on. Uh, by glass, I mean I'm working on a monitor. Uh, you could be a you could be working on a tablet. Um, you could be working on a mouse, but uh, honestly, it, that's a that's a very very hard thing to do. It's not impossible, but uh, you know if you work with a mouse, it, you you just make uh, you just make your uh, your uh, it makes your drawing that much harder to do. It makes what you're trying to do that much harder to do, and drawing is hard enough already. You have to worry about proportions. You have you have to worry about the drawing. You have to worry about everything that is involved with drawing. You don't want to make it harder by using tools that make it more difficult for you to draw. So I, I like uh, and and you know many of you already have a tablet and stuff like that. I'm really speaking to people who uh, may have not. Um, De delved into uh, digital or just starting digital and uh, want to know what it is that they need to use but there's a lot of people who are just used to traditional and stay away from digital because it's it's a little bit intimidating it's it's different and it really isn't that different if you have the right materials if you're drawing on a monitor or a tablet and you get a pen it's really not that difficult I, I don't like the idea of drawing with my finger uh, um, I don't like the idea of uh, drawing with a mouse. I want to be able to have more control of what I do. Uh, now, this is the great thing about mischief. Also, is this this infinite canvas where you know uh, you can make it as small as you want or as large as you want. Uh, but that also depends on uh, the tool you know that you use because sometimes the tool you know would be uh, uh, won't be as sharp but anyway that comes from you exploring uh, the, 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 the software like I said I don't use mischief for illustration I use mischief basically 
to practice drawing or to yeah to practice drawing to sketch but nothing for like a a, a a finished illustration it's just not made for that anyway that's it that's uh my finished painting uh if you enjoyed this video or it was uh helpful to you uh please consider subscribing also uh consider liking the video and coming back for more because there will definitely be more thank you very much bye bye